Hi all, uh, welcome to my Canon 550D T2i ISO Magic Lantern test. I just wanted to see if now being able to choose what I refer to as, I say in quotation marks, uh, native ISOs on the 550D and using Magic Lantern, how the ISO affects the noise within the image. Uh, I'm no expert really on ISO, but from what I understand, the native sensitivity of a number of other DSLRs had a native ISO of 160. Now I remember reading something about the 550 saying it had a native sensitivity range of 100. Um, so this may be why in the manual settings on the 550D T2i we had like 100, 200 etc in increments of 100. So it was just adding gain to its native base rate ISO. So now we were able to select uh, within the increments in the ISO so to, to achieve 160 whether that's actually adding more noise or less noise say than the 200 ISO because in theory then it's doing something digitally as well as just doubling the gain it's doing a pull down or a pull up as such um, so what I've done here is I've set my camera should speed to a 50th set the white balance at 3200 degrees Kelvin which is another great feature now with Magic Lantern uh, allowing you to set your colour temperature from I think it's 1700 to 10,000 degrees Kelvin I had my aperture wide open at 1.4 and my picture style was neutral. Anyway, that's enough from me. We'll run the tests and then I'll come back with some of the information in a bit. Okay, that's in the test. Uh, one thing quickly before I go, I just quickly wanted to show you from the point of view of the back of the camera what uh, the refresh looks like with the Magic Lantern software and then going through the ISO settings on the back of that. So as you can see here, we've got um, the blue checks showing underexposed levels. Uh, what I do now is I just bring up the menu using the trash can and now I'm just scrolling through the ISO settings so you can see there the choice of ISOs that you've got. And also underneath that, actually at the bottom there, you can see where I set the white balance as well. Again, you can set you go through that just by pressing set on the camera. Right, so here you can see some overexposed slight like there is in the centre there with the little red checks, and then on the outer edges there's also blue checks. Oh, and also as well in the frame there, you can see I've got like a 16.9 action safe and title safe um, markers on there. Right in the top right there, you can see the histogram there. Uh, I ramp right up now to 6400 I believe so you'll see a change in the histogram and you'll see the zebra slightly change once I come out of the menu. It doesn't obviously update until you come out of the menu there. Um, but anyway hopefully from this you'll kind of get an idea whether you think you should install Magic Lantern onto your 550T2i and hopefully you might get something from the test as well. Anyway thanks for watching.